So then, how do you implement these principles of parametric design in your own creative work? Well, let's say that you have a concept you're working on, something like this. And the origins of this concept are tied to our earlier discussion regarding the circle and the sine wave. Specifically, you're interested in bringing these two curves together to explore possible massing studies for a tower. But before you can begin your exploration, you need to give definition to the various parameters present in the initial design concept. Remember, since working parametrically means that you are defining and relating parameters, you must first give definition to the various parameters present in your initial design concept or sketch. In the case of your sketch, the parameters you'd be exploring might include something like radius, frequency of the waveform, as well as its amplitude. You'd also need to determine how you would like these two curves to merge together formally. Well, how about we use the sine curve to actually wrap the circle, creating a balcony or terrace uh, along the perimeter. And to drill down even further, the relevant parameters that we want to explore might include the radius values to construct the inner circles, a number of segments or divisions, and how the outer geometry will be defined. You might also take note that not all of the division points that we initially create will ultimately be used in the construction of the final geometry. In this case, the perimeter being constructed out of a series of arcs. Now once our concept or your concept has been defined in terms of a set of initial parameters, you can begin developing your design. So we first create a circle, perhaps using our parametric equation noted earlier. We then create additional circles by modifying the radius parameter, which in this case can be thought of something like an offset. We divide our circles according to our desired segment count, remove, un and remove any unnecessary points, and begin constructing additional geometry. Here you can see the kind of internal line segments and perimeter arc segments using the values from our segment count to drive the frequency of the uh, sine curve that we created. Or let's say instead of wanting to draw arcs using the sine curve, uh, maybe we transition to drawing polylines because you are interested in having something more um, faceted uh, along the perimeter. Or you might want to explore a change in the number of segments, resulting in far more units and terraces, for instance. So here we've kind of doubled the number of units that we had. Which, by the way, would also mean that we had probably changed the radius as well. Now, one of the most interesting aspects to parametric design is that as you are developing a concept, you're simultaneously outputting instances of your work. Which then feed back to your definition to provide increased fidelity to your initial concept. So development is then followed by more output, which is iterated again in through the definition and repeat. So an initial concept moves through development by way of an explicit function or infrastructure, allowing for a much more expansive exploration of your design idea. Here you can see four instances of output that were created using the same parametric sketch just by changing a few simple parameters. And once you dial in a particular look and feel um, for a concept, you can then drill into the various parameters you defined. So this process exposes alternative solutions that you may not have even thought of yet. But because you have this underlying infrastructure to help facilitate modeling, it ultimately then allows for, again, a more expansive development of the concept. So one of the benefits of using parametric tools is that the space for you to explore a possible concept opens up and becomes more expansive, while at the same time drilling down to become more specific and exact over time. Here are just a few iterations arrived upon using the parametric sketch um, that we were looking at just a moment ago. Now to circle back to our earlier discussion regarding relations, 
Just like in our example in math, we need some type of infrastructure to express the explicit relationships between our design parameters. In design, we refer to this as a model. Specifically, a parametric model, which is an infrastructure capable of defining parameters, performing actions, and maintaining the relationships established between the various elements of a design over time. To be exact, a parametric model is a flexible design tool capable of coordinating the meaningful properties of a design through a framework of constants.